Apple. It was a divisive topic at City Hall a few years ago, and now mayoral candidate Jennifer Keysmat is reigniting the debate. What should be done with this aging eastern portion of the Gardner Expressway? In 2016, Toronto City Council approved a billion dollar plan to tear it down and rebuild it farther north. Well, Keysmat today calling that plan fiscally reckless and pledging an alternative that she says will save taxpayers hundreds of millions of dollars. I'm announcing uh, my plan to tear down this portion of the structure. It is a decaying old structure that is a relic of the past. There's a significant amount of land that becomes available, much of it city land, as a result of taking this structure down and instead building a grand boulevard. Keysmat says her plan will save taxpayers up to $500 million, which would be reinvested into transit, although she admits keeping the expressway does cut down on drivers' commute time. For 3% of commuters, there's somewhere around between 2 and 10 minutes of time saving. So that the savings in terms of commute time is so minuscule in comparison to the city building benefits. She says replacing the Gardner with an expanded Lakeshore Boulevard would allow waterfront revitalization. I don't think people have any time for that kind of flip-flopping. Mayor Tory says Keysmat's announcement contradicts her time as chief planner when her team came up with the current plan for the Gardner. The fact is that the City Council, by a vote of 36 to 5, approved uh, this expressway uh, being uh, moved and, and uh, put in a new place uh, where we could free up more waterfront land for development on a plan that at the time Ms. Keysmet took credit for and said her wonderful staff had done a wonderful job, which they did, uh, on putting forward this plan. And I think this is another example of where what's now going to happen is she's going to take us backwards and we're going to go back to the drawing board and to more debates after a decisive city council uh, decision. Uh, and it's solely uh, to try and win votes. Drivers we spoke to weren't thrilled at the thought of tearing down the elevated expressway. I'm going to be using Gardner all the time. I, I work in the airport, so I come back here. It's going to be bad. It affects all of us because there's, um, there's always an effect, even if I don't directly drive on those roads, where, where is everybody else going, right? Now, Tori also mentioned that a $313 million contract in relation to rebuilding the expressway has already been awarded, and tearing that up would also come at a cost. Right now, the work is scheduled to begin next year and should take about five years to complete.